On every Aurora and Northern Lights cytometer, inside the sample line door, you'll see there's this flow meter installed. The software is able to use this flow meter to calculate the amount of sample that's recorded during each acquisition. To see the values that are recorded for each tube, simply open your experiment and right click on the tube or well that you want to look at. Go to Edit Properties. You can see here on this first tab, tube slash well, there's a total volume parameter. And what this is, is the total volume of sample that was recorded in that tube in microliters. So for this one, it was 41.63 microliters. Now, if I know my starting volume in the tube and what I did to dilute it down, I can use that information and figure out the count of cells per microliter in my sample. Now the software can do this automatically for you. You can create a statistics table and you'll see this last item here is count per microliter. But keep in mind, this is the count per microliter that was recorded in your prepared sample. So if you have any dilution factors, you'll need to add those in on your own. I'll go ahead and make that table. And you can see here, a count per microliter has been applied to all of my gates that are in my worksheet. Things to watch out for when you're doing volumetric counting. You should always check the time parameter for each tube. Let me go ahead and make one of time versus side scatter off of my lymphocytes. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this plot here. What you're looking for is you want to make sure that the pattern is relatively smooth from start to end. If you see any parts during the acquisition where the density of events decreases sharply or if there's a gap because there's an air bubble went through, you're going to want to exclude that data. You're not going to get a very accurate count if things like that happen during acquisition. A couple other things to watch out for. Sometimes when you're recording a tube, it takes a few seconds for the fluid stream to stabilize and the number of events per second to stabilize as it's passing through the flow cell. You can see this a little bit here. For this particular tube, I probably should have previewed a few more seconds to let things stabilize before pressing record. This will help improve the consistency of your counts as well. Last but not least, when you do record samples and looking at counts, keep in mind that the cells will settle over time 